All right, Shalom to the elect. I want to give all the praises, honor, and glory to whom it rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Raka Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh is the one who the world ignorantly calls God. Yah means he. Hawa means to be or exist. All right. So Yahweh means he to be or he exists. All right. That is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Baha Shum means in the name. Ba means in. Ha means the. And Shum means name. All right. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Messiah. All right. Yahweh Shai is the one of the world ignorantly calls Jesus. All right. Yah means he. Hawa Shai means deliverer. All right. So Yahweh Shai means he is the deliverer. He is, you know, once again, Yahweh Shai means he is the deliverer. All right. Yahweh Shai is the one of the world ignorantly calls Jesus. All right. Bahasham, once again, meaning in the name, Rachal Kodash means Holy Spirit. Rachal means spirit. And Rachal means spirit and Kodash means holy. So I said all the praises, honor, and glory belongs to Yahweh in the name of Yahweh Shai, in the name of the Holy Spirit. All right. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. All right. You so called West Indians. All right. Your true nationality are Hebrew Israelites from the tribe of Benjamin, okay, of the nation of Israel, all right, you are Israelites, man, Hebrew Israelite of the tribe of Benjamin, okay, and the true Israelites, all right, are the so-called blacks, West Indian, or the so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Mexicans, Dominicans, Latinos, Native American, and Seminole Indians, okay, we are the true Biblical Israelites. That is our true nationality, not black, not West Indian, not Haitian. Okay, our true nationality are Hebrew Israelites or the nation of Israel, okay, which we are the nation of Israel. Okay, in the Hebrew, Yasha Allah, meaning princes of the power. Okay, and today we are just known by those names such as black, West Indian, Caribbean, Jamaican, Hispanic. Mexican, Latino, Native American, Seminole Indian, you know? So, but our na our true nationality are, he once again, Hebrew Israelites, each from our different tribes, as you see here on this sign, on the screen, okay? Now, on the screen, it says the 12 tribes of Israel, all right? Judah, you know, going all the way down to Ishakar, okay? And the tribe, one of, and on the right, you see... Um, you know, what people today know them as, you know, what people know them as today. I should say it like that. On the right side of the of the sign, you see what people know them as today. Okay. Which are the so-called Negroes, West Indians, Haitians, Dominicans, Guatemalans, the Panamanians, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, North American Indians, Seminole Indians, the Argentinians, the Chileans, Colombians, the Colombians, the Uruguayans, and Mexicans. Right, and so called why? Because once again, that is not those are not our true nationalities. Our true nationalities are, you know, Hebrew Israelites from the different tribes, you know, that we come from, that you see here on the left side of the screen. But today I want to focus on a certain tribe, which as you see here, it says Benjamin, and across from it says West the so called West Indians. Okay. You know, you so called West Indians, once again. Your true nationality, all right, your true identity are Hebrew Israelites of the tribe of Benjamin, okay, of the nation of Israel, all right? And you're going to see that here today, Lord willing, okay? Let me just get another picture. As you see right here, so the 12 tribe of Israel, you know, next to number two, it says Benjamin, all right, which means son of the right, okay? That's what the... That's what the name Benjamin means. And in the Hebrew, Banyamin, okay? Which means son of the right, okay? Us so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians, all right? We are the true Israelites, not those um, so-called white people that pretend to be us with the, with the um, top hats and, you know, the long twists in their hair. They, they pretend to be us, man. All right, but they're not us. All right, so without further ado, let's go into the tribe of Benjamin. 
okay? Which, once again, you so-called West Indians, your true nationality, all right, are, you know, are Hebrew Israelites from the tribe of Benjamin of the nation of Israel, okay? Now, without further ado, let's go into the scriptures. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 49, and verse 1. And Jacob, which is, you know, the, one of the forefathers of the nation of Israel, all right? In Hebrew, his name is Yaquab, and his name was later changed to Israel, which in Hebrew, once again, is Yasha Allah, all right? And he had 12 sons, all right? Which later turned into the 12 tribes of Israel, from whom a so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians descend. It's, you know, those are who we come from, all right? And we are the nation of Israel. You know? So it says, And Jacob called his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I may tell you that which shall befall you in the last days. All right? So pretty much Jacob here, you know. And gathered his sons to tell them what's going to happen to their descendants, which are us, the Israelites, so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans, in the last days, okay? Which we are in the last days, all right? So now let's go to a certain tribe. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 40, Genesis chapter 49, and verse 27. It says, Benjamin shall raven as a wolf. In the morning he shall devour the prey. And at night he shall divide the spoil. All right. Now it was said, the tribe of Benjamin shall raven as a wolf. It was prophesied the tribe of Benjamin shall raven as a wolf, right? Now, raven, you know, going into tear, okay, but it also means something else. That's what I want to focus on, all right? Which proves who the tribe of Benjamin is, okay? Now, you know, raven, as you see here, is spelled, all right? It, it, you know, Raven, as you see here, okay, it, it is, you know, it had, the way it's spelled here has one definition, okay, but really, you know, this is going into Raven, all right, but spelled a different way, okay? Now, let's look this up. Here goes the word Raven, okay? And, we're, and the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, all right, have done breakdowns. On the tribes of Israel and brothers under them teaching the same doctrine as them have done breakdowns of the 12 tribes of Israel. And Lord willing, I'll post the link to the you know to those videos in the description of this video. Okay. But getting back to this, getting back to the um topic here, right? It says Raven. Alright. Let me get right to the point. Which means what? You see the part I highlighted it says imitative of harsh sounds. Okay, so raven, as you see here, all right, means what? An utterance, okay, to utter something. All right, utter, you know, let me see if I can look it up. All right, bear with me one second. Utter. Which means, you know, um, not that. A certain definition of utter I'm looking for. Utter, you know, make a sound with one's voice. All right. So, as you see, it said raven, imitative of harsh sounds. I'm going to highlight it here again. All right. Which goes into utterance, which is, you know, to, to speak or say something, you know? So, Pretty much it said the tribe of Benjamin should raven as a wolf, right? Now, you know, so really the so you know the so-called West Indians they raven as a wolf, meaning they utter sounds similar, you know, to pretty much they get together like in packs, all right, and chant these songs against America, aka Babylon, you know. You know they they would they would they would um. Pretty much come together and 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 and, and, and um, sing these songs. All right, they will utter these. They will utter by song, poetry, and speech. You know that Babylon must fall. Okay, that Babylon must go down. All right, which Babylon is what America. Okay, now let me show you something here. All right, 
Watch this. I typed it on Google. West Indian songs about Babylon falling. And as you see here, you got all these different songs by so you know by the so-called West Indians, you know, um, about Babylon falling. All right. And this isn't just by, you know, this isn't just by, um, you know, coincidence. Right. It's said in the scripture, Benjamin shall raven as a wolf. Raven going into what? Utterance, as we just showed, you know, which, you know, the, so it was prophesied that what? The tribe of Benjamin will utter by song, speech, poetry, right? That Babylon must fall. Okay. You know? And as you see here, the so-called West Indians, all right, you know, you, this proves that you are of the tribe of Benjamin, all right? You know, all these different songs by you so-called West Indians, all right, talking about Babylon falling, all right? This is not by coincidence, all right? This is prophecy. Why? Because you are of the tribe of Benjamin, and it was prophesied that you would do this. That the tribe of Benjamin would do this. They would come together and sing songs about Babylon falling. Okay, and you know, and just for any scoffers out there that may say, "Well, how you how, how you how do you know that that the song itself is actually talking about Babylon falling? Because it just says in the title, Babylon falling. It may say something else. Well, let's look at some lyrics. Okay, you know, this is the first song that you saw here by this man named Kabaka Pyramid, Babylon falling. I just looked up the lyrics real quick. This is Babylon falling. Babylon, you falling down. Me say you not go live if see. The morning come, your wicked empire me a chant it down. <laughs> you know? So, hey, man, this isn't by coincidence. This is prophecy, man. Okay? This is, this is prophecy here. All right? Proving that you so-called West Indians, you are the tribe of Benjamin. Okay, it says Benjamin shall raven as a wolf. Once again, you know, the Benjamites, all right, you so called West Indians, you know, you're going to raven as a wolf, meaning, you know, you're going to utter by song, poetry, speech that Babylon must fall, you know. So, you know, and as one of the apostles, knows a great millstone said, you know, Apostle Ramla. you know, what he said, you know, they get together like in past, you know, pretty much going into, you know, you um pretty much what he was saying, you know, the same thing. You so called West Indians, you know, you know, uttering, all right, that um, you know, about Babylon falling. Okay, so as you can see here, right, it's plain and simple, all right. This proves that you so called West Indians, all right, are your true nationality, all right, are Hebrew Israelites of the tribe of Benjamin of the nation of Israel. Okay, and it's time for you to return and to repent, man. Repent back to your true power, whose name is Yahweh. All right, and repent to him, you know, repent to Yahweh in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai. Okay, you, you know, Yahweh Baha Shun, Yahweh Shai. All right, it's time for you to realize you're Israelite, wake up, repent. Okay, because time is short. All right, you know. And let me just say this too before, you know, so I don't forget, you know, you are what your father is, you know. So, for example, if you, if you have a mother, if you have a father that's, for example, a so-called white man, and, you know, you, um, you know, and you, and you, let's say you have a, a so-called West Indian mother, you know, you're a, you're a, you're an Edomite, okay. If your father, let me just say this, all right, to make it. Uh, clear, you know. And let me just say in concise words: If your father and his father's nationality is not on this sign here, you are a heathen. Okay, no matter what your mother is, because as opposed, you know, opposite of how this world teaches you. All right, what is true is, you know, another one. Of, you know, pretty much op opposite to how this world teaches you. All right, you are what your father is. All right, your nationality. All right, depends on your father. I'm gonna get a scripture to prove it. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. It says, And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month, and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers, according to the number of the names from 20 years old and upward by their poles. All right, so yeah, 
you know? But hey, you know, so once again, if your father's nationality, all right, his father's nationality is not on this sign, you are not an Israelite, you know? It doesn't matter how you look, okay, on the outward, you know, it doesn't, you know, but if it, it, it's, you know, about, you know, nationality, you know, so, hey, Lord willing, you know, any of you so-called West Indians that run across this video, all right, you realize that you are truly the tribe of Benjamin, okay, you know, and it's once again, it is time for you to repent and wake up. You know, and return to your, your power, Yahweh, okay, in the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, all right? And once again, Lord willing, you know, once again, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and their brothers under them teaching the same doctrine as them have done videos on all the tribes of Israel, all right? And Lord willing, I'll post the links, the links to those videos in the description of this video, okay? So... Hey, let me read that scripture again in, in Genesis. All right. Genesis chapter 49, verse 27. Benjamin shall raven as a wolf. You so-called West Indians. You fulfill this, man. You know, you know, this prophecy about you, you know, shows who you are. You know, the fact that, you know, you ravening or uttering by speech and poetry, songs about Babylon falling. All right. Proves that. You so-called West Indians, you are truly of the tribe of Benjamin. Okay, it says in the morning, all right, in the morning, bear me one second. All right, it says in the morning, which, is, which you know, represents Yahweh shall returning. All right, it says he shall devour the prey, meaning he's going to devour Esau, who is the so-called white man. That is his true biblical nationality. All right. Not Caucasian, not Caucasian. His, his his real nationality is the Edomites. Okay, you know Caucasian just means you know pretty much cave dweller, you know resident or native of the Caucasus. But that's another topic for another lesson. Okay, it says in that night he shall divide the spoil. All right, so hey, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all the praise, his honor, and glory to whom rightfully belongs, which is Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechah, Padash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the elect. Peace, which in Hebrew, Shalom, so Shalom to the elect.